how to create a brush stroke like this in Affinity Photo. It's super easy, super quick. Start point, go over to the spiral tool, select that and create a spiral. Go up to the stroke and you can set it to any colorful gradient. Go to swatches, got loads of different ones you can choose. Just choose one of those, then click here and you can modify the width so you can make it like that. Also, you can modify the pressure. Just go down here and you can create a variety of different designs simply by tweaking this. But also what you can do is you can go along here and you can modify a number of turns. So click here and maybe make it say 13 or 14. Make a very intense design very quickly. Well, once you've got this, what you can then do is you can rasterize it. So go to layer and down to rasterize. Then go to the rectangular marquee tool select that and create a very thin sliver of a selection all the way down right across that so just something like that as soon as you've done that what you can then do is go to the brushes here's the brushes panel right side menu click there and down to new brush from selection you no longer need the spiral so select and deselect and then just select the move tool and remove the spiral Go to the brushes panel and double click. It brings up the editor. In the editor, you can now modify it. And I'm just going to decrease the size and also go to the spacing. I'm just going to decrease that and you get something like that. Well, what you can then do is you can modify dynamics as well. So click there and then you can go down here and maybe change the hue jitter so you get a lot of different colors in it. You can also go to the size jitter just modify that so just increase that to the max also you can go to pressure and then down to cyclic in cyclic you get different designs so you can then go click here and you can go with maybe this profile you can also then go to the rotation titter and you can modify that and you can get something like that but you can also again go here and go to cyclic and you can get something like that but also you can modify even further by just clicking here and going through different profiles. You might say, you know what, that one looks the best and you can close. Press B to get the paintbrush tool and then you can apply it. And you can see now your design as you apply it. Now I'm using the art pad and pen, but of course you can still just use it with a mouse. So let's just undo and use a mouse instead. And you can see the result of that. You can create all kinds of unique designs super quick say you want a nice colorful one so let's remove that press obviously b to get the brush make certain you've got the brush tool and also bring back the various brushes here and you can double click there again and just go down here to huge jitter and you can see then you get all this lovely color just by going to random you can always try out the brush just move that over there and just apply it again make some press b that is definitely the brush tool and you can see then you've got a nice colorful brush like that. You can always undo. And also you can go here and go for cyclic. So cyclic, and you can also click here and you can change the profile again, get different colorful rainbow like designs and click close. With that, simply apply it again. And you can see now as you apply it, you get this lovely rainbow effect as you apply your brush stroke and something like that. create many variants of this design as well what you can do just with this selected you can hold down the alter option key maybe duplicate design and you can see then you can create something like that where you've got this weird clash maybe reduce the size and something like that and again you can then select that design another option maybe apply effects to this design so you've got this go to filters go down here to distort Maybe use deform. So select that and click, add a few pins here and just distort the design. So instead of having a uniform design, you can create something that's even more unique for your brush, something like that, and then apply. So as before, simply go over here to the rectangular marquee tool and you can select this area or maybe select a different part of it. Don't have to select the central part. You can select over this, maybe slightly bigger and select that and again exact same go to the brushes 
right side menu, down there to new brush from selection. And then you've got your new brush. And the, obviously the dots, the design will be slightly more spread out. And again, let's just remove this. Then just go over here, double click. And then again, you can modify this. Go to the general, go to the spacing. And you can see you've got a design like that now. But also exactly the same as before. You can apply it. Let's press B to get the brush and apply it just to try it out. And you can see the result there. Maybe again, you can go here, dynamics, make certain the spacing is reduced. You can change that, obviously. You can also change the size, also dynamics. And again, q jitter, you can see again, you get lovely color in that. You might not want that. Also, size jitter, just change that. And again, go over here, side click, and you get different designs there. Or just keep it none. Perfectly reasonable. And also, maybe rotation jitter. Change that, side click, and you get design like that. And again, you can modify the profile if you want, or just click close. With that, let's apply the brush again. And you can see now you've got a different brush stroke, super quick. And you can, of course, create many variations of this design very, very quickly. Now, of course, what you can also do is apply on a layer. Go to the Layers panel, go down to Effects, if you had a layer, of course, you can always go to layer and new layer. Make sure you've got a layer there to apply your brush stroke to. If you don't, it will create it, but of course, you won't be able to apply the effects until you've got a layer there. So click effects at the bottom, then go to say 3D, just increase that a bit. Now, obviously I'm doing it without actually seeing it, but this is the sort of general thing you can do. Go to outer shadow, just modify that, put it about the middle to get a shadow effect and then close. Now, when I apply it, you'll see now you've got this like three dimensional effect. So let's just apply it across this and you can see slightly different design very quickly using the brush, something like that. Also, what you can do is you can go and use say symmetry. So just go up here, click on symmetry. And that's with the brush tool active. Click lock on, so make certain that's on and modify the symmetry. Let's just change that to say four and now apply the brush stroke. But I'd say reduce the size down a bit. Let's just go down to about 250, 240. Now you've got this lovely symmetrical design, super quick, super easy. You can apply and create all kinds of unique designs, fill the screen, or of course, just apply it just in a particular area like that. And maybe up there and there. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below, like or dislike. Always appreciated. Bye.